Alright, hi, uh, welcome to the unboxing of our Gigabyte P55A UD5. Uh, right here, I got the package from gamedude.com.au, and I'm gonna be opening it up now. Invoice. Oh. Ah, Alright, and here's the box. As you can see, P55A UD5 from Gigabyte. And just the back and the sides, just all the specs and shit. Yeah, the box looks pretty good, so I'm gonna open it now. Yeah, there's no security tabs for some reason. And my friend's behind the camera, so just, just ignore any laughs if you hear any. Alright. So first, a step-by-step -step Smart 6 user manual. Step-by-step -step Smart T TPM users manual. And just the case sticker from Gigabyte. Uh, here's the actual user manual. Inside are the driver CD and some manual correction, whatever that is. Is that it? Yep. Alright, and a multilingual. Multilingual installation guide book uh, and here you have a SLI bridge wait for it to focus it's not going to focus or whatever I, um, here you got four serial ATI cables and an IDE cable you have the IO shield plate and finally, you got the Adobe Home Theater System seal sticker. And here is the motherboard. Uh, I'll pause the video here and I'll return with the opening of the motherboard. Uh, welcome back. Uh, here I'm just going to open the, the Gigabyte P55A UD5 motherboard. Uh, in the, from the anti-static bag it's just held together by a sticky tape remember to ground yourself before you take it out of this anti-static place come on bro, get some zoom-ins, shit yeah, so as you can see it's a nice looking motherboard it's got some plastic cover over the cooler I um obviously this is a socket LGA 1156 motherboard. Um, it's got four slots of DDR, DDR3 dual channel RAM. Here is the 24 pin power um, and IDE. Here you got six 3.0 serial ATA slots, and these last two are the, the new six gigabyte ones. And here, I don't know, these are the, the front panel. Connectors. Uh, here's a USB connector, the second USB connector. Here's the floppy drive connector, a system fan connector. Um, here's the that coma, whatever that is. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, here's the CPU socket. Um, here's the MOSFET coolers. Oh yeah, there's also an 8-pin power here. Um, there's the CPU fan, here's an ATX fan controller, the power fan connector, uh, yeah, three PCI Express slots, this one runs at 16 times, this one runs at 8 times, and this one runs in 4 times. You've got two PCI 
normal slots, you got two PCI Express one time slots. Uh, what else? You got another fan connector here. Can you see that? Yep. Uh, here you've got the power switch. Here you've got the reset button, the reset switch. And here you've got the clear CMOS button and the CMOS battery. Uh, as you can see, the heat pipe is a heat pipe design connecting from all the heat sinks across the board. Um, it's a passive cooling system, so there's no fans. Uh, take a back, take a look at the back. Yeah, it's just a little cooler retention plate for the CPU. And here for the back connectors, you've got two normal USB 2.0 ports. You've got a PS2 slash whatever it is for the keyboard or mouse. Um, I forgot what they are. There's like something optical out or something like that. Uh, you've got a FireWire port. You've got here two USB 3.0 ports. And here we got a um, mini display port. Um, down here you got two seri um, external Serie A 3.0 ports. Uh, you've got dual gigabit Ethernet. You got again here two, two um, USB 2.0 ports. And here are two USB 3.0 ports. And here's your A channel audio 7.1 onboard audio. And that's about it. So just get a good shot of that again.